I can't wait to get your take on yesterday's game. Hey there, Doc. Hey, I'm just driving around uh, listening to you and enjoying the show and uh, just having some nice hot bowl peanuts. Some Eastern North Carolina. Some good stuff. Well, welcome so, uh, back. I haven't heard from yeah. you since Carolina and Duke um, got got yeah. got thrown out. That's, I said that was that's tough. A tough one. That's a tough yeah. one. I, I guess I'm rooting for the state. Let them get their one minute of glory, you know, but anybody but Duke. But Carolina sucks. They won all the games this year that didn't matter and lost the ones that mattered. So whatever. Yeah. I'm kind of getting yeah. over it. I was rooting for the girls' state last night, but that didn't work out. So, uh I guess I'm rooting for the state good boys, but it's unsufferable down here if they win, Doc. Oh, my God. They'll do like the Philadelphia Eagles. They'll act like they're the best, best team in the division when you've got one trophy. And the rest of us got have all you, more than you. So, have you put your yeah. eyes on Sarah Strong, the number one player coming out in the country, just committed to UConn? No, I have not. I heard y'all mention her. Not? Where is she from? Yeah, Sarah. Where is she from? Y'all's in North area? Carolina. No, you she see? played in North Carolina. Oh, that's the Grace yeah. Christian girl. I don't yes. know how she's number one. They play nobody. Grace Christian is like, they, they don't play anybody. She must have really well, good Well, she's 30 and 0. Well, yes. they're 30 you and know. 0. And uh, you know, I don't know. That's why I figured if you don't know, then we're all lost. Yeah. I got to call G and, and see nah, if he's locally, heard. Locally, nobody's talking about her. Locally, nobody's well, talking about her, but whatever. But she's I'm number in the one recruit now. in the country. Yeah. Number one. Yeah, I heard. I heard. And going I to UConn. And her mother played in WNBA. You know, Pops played a little bit overseas. So she's from a sports family. But I just thought, well, wait a minute. Carolina? North Carolina? And no to yeah. Bob? Knowing about five this? Five minutes I from said, my okay. house. That school is five minutes from my house. See, we knew another girl that went there. She was a bust in college. I don't know. But anyway, uh, let's get to the play. So there is never, never a wrong time to do the right thing, Doc. And that was a foul. She stuck her leg out, her elbow. Paige Beckers went wide on the screen, which was a mistake, and made the girl lean. And Gabby, fighting the screen, made the call. So everybody who did things wrong deserved to get called the foul. And the girl that got things right, Gabby, deserved to get the call. And you notice Gino was mad at his player, not the referee. And yeah. for those people who get, yeah, those people say, well, you can't do that. you got to let the players decide. Well, the player did decide. She failed. See, I have a sore spot on this because in high school playoffs, my daughter scored 33 and eight, well, eight threes. And down one, the other team came, walked, walked, and then hit a shot. And they didn't call nothing. They swallowed the whistle, and we lost the game in overtime. I'll never forget that because, to me, the refs decided that game, not the players. What about Monday, uh, Sunday night when um, Jahan Dawson got mugged in the end zone? We could have won that game. That and and, and they, they, they swallowed the whistle. And then what yep, about yep. in um, New Orleans Saints, the, the obvious pass interference in the playoff game? They yep. swallowed the whistle. If you swallow the whistle when it matters most, and guess what players do? They say, oh, we can foul. They won't call it. No, that's not how it is because today UConn is looking at the film saying, mm, yeah, my, our bad. That was a bad screen, Paige. You came too wide on it. And I was saying, good job, Gabby. Because if they didn't make a call and Paige hit the shot and won the game, guess what would have been happening? UConn would have been like, woo, we got given that one. And I would have been like, the refs stole the game from us. But in this scenario, UConn lost the game and I won. And then about pay, um, Kaylin Clark, I kind of disagree with the coach just a little bit about she didn't play well in the first half. They were face guarding her, which to me is so middle school. Oh, my God, in rec league. I swear, just play people straight up. But anyway, they were face guarding her. She kept passing the ball. She wasn't making her shots. She kept passing the ball. They weren't making her shots. She stayed patient. I thought second half she was going to take the game over, like, you know, selfishly. She did not. She kept passing. Her teammates finally came through. She made a few step-back threes. She started driving the ball, getting that girl in foul trouble, which is what she should have did in the first half. And I thought it was her best game. I thought really it was her best game. She stayed patient, and I was impressed with Iowa being down 12. They stayed patient. They didn't panic. And they won the game fair and square. That's my take on it. Yeah, and I don't I don't problem with that. I thought uh, Stukely stepped up. The others yeah. with her, she kind of, I Daddy. mean, yeah, they didn't. Eh, I was looking to see a little more alpha, but she came through. 
It's like Paige. Gino's like trying to get Paige. He, He's trying to get Paige to get a little more alpha. I wanted her to be a well, little more assertive, yeah. but she got to be who right. she is. So we'll see. Because well, now thing, you're going to get some pit bulls now. The Gamecocks, well, nobody's think, talking about them undefeated, but now you got to deal with it. Well, I think Iowa can beat them. I think if anybody can beat them, it's Iowa, not UConn. Because let me tell you about Paige Beckers and Kaylin Clark. By the way, you saw that video I sent you. My daughter actually was on the same team as uh, Kaylin yeah. Clark in the uh, Team USA trials. Isn't that kind of funny? But anyway, right. um, so the thing is, if Kayla Clark, I mentioned this to Chris the other day, if Kayla Clark went to UConn, she would have been Paige Becker. She would not have been Kayla Clark because I don't think UConn, Gio's going to let a player do what what Kayla Clark does. He's not going to let Paige shoot from the logo and do side step, step backs off. They're more right. team oriented because they're loaded with talent. Whereas Iowa, it's Paige, uh, it's Caitlin and the rest of them. And so that coach has to give Caitlin the leeway and she has to tell the other players on the team, you don't shoot those shots. That's only a Caitlin shot. So yeah. I, I think that Paige can't do what Caitlin does because of the team she's on and the coach she's with. Not a negative, just a reality. No, I, I agree with that. And I, I think there's yeah. UConn and what they've built and what they've done. They got a system. You fit into it or you go somewhere else. So I don't blame him. Right. I wouldn't like change Michael anything for anybody. Exactly. Yeah. Like Same Michael thing Jordan with Dean. Carolina won goals for 30. Yeah, he scored, what, 12, 14 points a game? Yeah, and they won. They, they did James whatever Hardy. system takes. He had Sam yeah. Perkins. You know, he had, uh, uh, what is it called, Jimmy Black, you know, and Matt Doherty, and he had all those guys. He had pros on his team with Worthy and Perkins, you know. But I just always wonder how uncomfortable it is. Whenever NC State does something, from my days working oh. ACC, y'all just, boy, are so uncomfortable with it. Whenever Duke and oh. Carolina, oh. I almost lean on this and want to see yeah. how y'all respond. I'll tell you what it. it feels like. It feels like you got underwear on that's a little too small, and you're just picking at it. And you're like, oh, you just something's not right. It's just, it's just something in just not right. And you, you, you kind of, you know, it's okay, but – just to hear them and the, the way they sell, uh, they're just insufferable. I mean, they're not as bad as Duke. I kind of feel sorry for them. My son goes to state, but I, I root for them, but I almost am not because it's just this whole town. They'll just be uh, just, uh, miserable for the rest of us to have to put up with. I mean, I got people coming in my office already with that little stupid wolf pack sign that they do with their fingers. I was like, dude, y'all, that, y'all hadn't been since the majority, of, a lot of people weren't even born. I mean, and you won on an air ball. That's how you had to win, an air ball. So, I don't know. We'll see how but it works But you know, out, you do know, Doc. Sabah, you do know. Yeah. It don't matter how you win, just win, baby. I know. Just win. If you're yeah. cutting the nets down. See what yeah. kills me, Doc? I got Carolina. Should have beat Villanova. Absolutely. I had a 20-point lead against Kansas and loses. And then um, uh, has Kendall Marshall break his wrist. Should have won that year. We have all these examples where we should have cut the nets down, and we didn't. You don't get those moments back. It's frustrating. Well, but you're not the Lone Ranger. It happens. Sabah, you love. have a beautiful drive. Yeah. Be safe. Give uh, give Baby Gunner our best. I will. And uh, stay straight. And look, be pulling for Chris Russell. I think we're going to see Russ somehow in the middle of that ring at WrestleMania. I, I cannot believe that Russell will not be somewhere – Front, stage, and center. So we'll pull. Oh yeah, for the, the rooster, rooster is on the loose, baby. Yeah. Yep. The rooster and the rock is what I'm going to turn. There you this. go. The rooster and the rock. Thanks, Abal. Right. Thanks, sir. It's a uh, good talking ball. Yeah, uh, Max, I love it. Having worked in the ACC for 14 years, I love the the how the rivalries are between Carolina State and Duke. It's just so fierce, especially and when you're wake, like right there. And wake. Oh, they're all like these little sim- these little separate communities. <laughs> and she just hated the fact that they had to say anything decent about NC State. And they had that big state fair on the grounds of, uh, of NC State. The people in all three places couldn't be nicer. Having dealt with all three of them regularly, they're very nice. I love the fact that there's some tension. I think it's a competitive tension. And as long as you don't get dominated where you never win, that's not competitive to me. I don't even like it when people consider that a rivalry. 
We're going through that crap now. You ain't got no damn rivalry with Dallas. You don't have a rivalry with anybody. And that's the problem. Yeah, especially hope, when, when they're just kicking yeah. the crap out of you at yeah, exactly. will. Exactly. The hell, you gonna have a rivalry? You ain't beat. You ain't won. Yeah. We've won one, once. That's not a rivalry. Hopefully, under this new administration, 